guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the Molly Cosmetics Scylla Sponge. I just got this in the mail today and I've been so eager to see how this thing works. So don't mind it, it's dirty because I just put my makeup on. But this is what it looks like. It comes in the silver bag and then it comes in this little bitty bag as well. Um, this sponge, it, you know, the claims are that you're going to use less um, product, less foundation when you're applying it to your face, um, that the application goes on smoother and it's more hygienic because it's not being used, um, you're not using a porous sponge like, you know, a beauty sponge or a beauty blender or something like that. This, you can just wash it with warm um, water and mild soap and just dry it off. Um, it's like I said, not porous. Um, you do have to be careful because this is silicone. Um, don't, if you have long nails, you have to hold it kind of like this so you're not puncturing the silicone because it does say on the back of this package, um, caution, stop using the outer, it, bleh, stop using once outer lining is damaged. Keep away from heat and sunlight, away from children, external use only, do not ingest. Um, I don't know who would ingest that, but, so if it does start to tear, you definitely want to get rid of it and get a new one. Um, these retail for, I believe, $12.90. It was on sale when I purchased it, um, so probably about a month ago I might have purchased it about three weeks, three to four weeks ago, and I got it on sale for $9.90 plus 10% off, so it ended up being like $8 and some change for the sponge. I did want to buy more, but I wanted to see if I liked it first um, before I, you know, bought like three of them to have backups. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the demonstration portion, and I will be right back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get into the review, my thoughts on application of the Molly Cosmetics Silly, um, Scylla, Scylla Sponge. I think that's what it's called, Scylla Sponge. So it comes in a package like this, and then it comes in a little individual bag like that. And it's just, I mean, it's what you think. It's like a baby mini chicken cutlet. So I'm going to go ahead and get into trying this out. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And it says to not use a lot of product, um, that you can use like half as much, I believe, on the Scylla sponge. So we're going to try it out and see what happens. So I've put it on there and you're supposed to like rub it around your face and then I believe start like patting it in. I've already primed uh, my face. Well, not primed, I moisturized. I didn't want to use primer, actual primer. Um, cause I wanted to see, I don't always use primer on my face, so I wanted to see how this worked without any primer. So let's see here. Huh, well, that's different. Definitely different. It's a little bit hard to get like right under your eyes, um, with it. But all in all, it's, it's hard to go on the side of your nose as well. But the patting motion does definitely create a nice finish. Um, there's no streaks or anything like that. But you definitely want to, when you're putting it on your face, you definitely want to just like rub it all over and then start patting it. Um, but yeah, I like the application. So my final thoughts on the sponge, I really, really, really like it. I feel like I did use less product. Typically I would squirt like a large squirt on my hand and then dip from there for my beauty blender or my brushes. But this, I felt like I just kind of put like one dot for each part of my face and on my forehead, as you noticed in the video, I did put too much so I used the extra and rubbed it down my neck. Um, it created a very pretty finish on the face. I really, really, really enjoy it. Now, I do have a lot of scarring, as you guys know from my previous videos, and if I don't um, 
color correct and conceal and do a whole bunch of extra steps my scars do still show through no matter what um you know cosmetic application device i use brush sponge fingertips whatever it's still going to be there unless i do all the extra steps but for a day-to-day -day look i really 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 like how this turned out i recommend getting the Scylla sponge um i believe now they are on their ninth or tenth pre-order I ordered this on the fifth pre-order so these little suckers are selling and they're selling quick and um, definitely if you are gonna purchase one of these purchase it from Molly Cosmetics I'm not sponsored or anything like that but there are a lot of duplicates on the market that are not FDA approved or whatever standards they use to make sure this is safe to use there's a lot of them out there on the market that are not um, proven safe for use on the face and there's a lot of brands that are actually using Molly Cosmetics um, ad photos um, saying that they're selling the same thing, which in actuality it might be similar, but it's not exactly the same as Molly Cosmetics. So I encourage you guys go ahead and get the sponge, Scylla sponge or booby blender or whatever you want to call it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the application as much as I did. I think it's created a beautiful finish to my skin. Um, again, I did only use it for foundation because I believe that's the only claims is that you can use it for foundation to get your get a good finish. I did not try it with concealer. I did not try it with powder because those are not the claims. Um, but it did great for foundation and I am looking forward to using it again. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!